Excuse me. Did you take my dog? You can go right in. Darling, your hair is thinning. I would advise no more treatments. Let's try to keep what you have. All right, I have to go here. Jerry. <laughs> Dick Corcoran, president of Crackle. Wow, that's a... Uh... Yeah, you like it? Look at that. I had it blown up. You know why? Because you're blowing up, young man. Sit down. That was my new bride, Manila. May I offer my congratulations? Yeah. I guess they finally got you, huh, sir? <laughs> well, once Clooney went, I figured, what the hell? <laughs> no, we're very happy. We're registered at Pier 1 Imports. Oh, nice. And no bamboo for us either, by the way. <laughs> Where she's from, you know. Uh, well, I don't want to get into it. Now, this comedian in car show you're doing with the coffee and the driving around and the comedians, I'll tell you, sometimes I don't even understand it, but the public is hooked. You got some black tar heroin here, my friend. Now, as soon as we figure out some sort of business model... Oh, um... There's no revenue generated. Damn internet is free. Who saw that coming? Right. So, um, I got your text. Is there anything I, I can do for you? Jerry, I'm Hitler's son-in-law. Excuse me? I know, it's shocking. Why do you think that? And last night, while I was jacked up on absorbing Junior and Sipical liquid gels, I went down a wormhole on Ancestry.com. You know, sir... My wife wants children very badly, and there's nothing I want more than to give her the fruit of my seed. Now, that being said, this... DNA of unspeakable evil must end here. Jerry, Crackle is an equal opportunity employer. Now, you're Jewish, right? Right. And it's no problem. That's our policy. Nonetheless, I cannot give my wife a Hitler baby. Sir, I'm just doing a little coffee show for you, and I appreciate the compliments and the big picture and everything, but what does this have to do with me? I want you to impregnate my new bride, Manila. Of course you do. Now, this is no swingers thing. I won't even be in the room. But I will be on a speakerphone in case anything goes wrong. Okay. I, I really have to go. I can't bring my anti-Semitic offspring into a corporate environment. That's not going to fly. Sir, on a personal level, I, I'm really quite fond of you. Thank you. But when I come up here and we have these little meetings, sometimes I feel like I don't know what your story is. Speaking of story, when is your show going to have a story? Driving around in circles, chuckling it up with your joke buddies, while I pay out the nose? A uh, Hitler, he had a story. He gave speeches, he tried to take over the world. It didn't work out, but he had a story. Either you get your mind right and get busy with my sweeting, or we're never going to crush the third right. That sounds great. I'll be on myself. Mr. Seinfeld, tear down this wall! Now, I've been asked, do I believe in free love? Am I a swinger? Am I kinky? And my answer to you is this. Ich bin ein Berliner! Can I get anyone anything? <laughs>